follow it back to Skynet territory. I'm still working on it. This is Terminator Salvation, the video game, the storyline of which takes place before the events in the movie. You play as John Connor, destroying everything that Skynet throws at you. This is a fun game for fans of this series, and fans of science fiction shooters in general, yet it is extremely short. The gameplay look and feel reminds me a lot of Wanted Weapons of Fate. Which is not surprising considering they have the same developer, Grin. Although it feels like they put a lot more time and effort into Wanted Weapons of Fate. Which I have to admit is a guilty pleasure of mine. I've played that game twice and I really enjoy it. And when you win it, you unlock all kinds of cool things. And there's lots of hidden artwork and stuff to run around the levels and gather. This game has none of that. It's very short, very straightforward. Fight your way through the game. It's like watching the movie. It's not bad by any means, but just know going into it, it's not a long game. In fact, when I won the game, I couldn't believe it. I ran through a hail of bullets and it ended. This is primarily a duck and cover game where you play with some teammates. In fact, there's also a co-op mode. I'm playing with computer teammates here. To bring down most of the enemies, you generally want to flank them or hit them with explosives. This is a rare game where it's actually more difficult in the beginning than it is later in the game because later in the game you get grenade launchers and missile launchers and assuming you can serve your ammo and hit your targets you can destroy most of the enemies without breaking a sweat. There's a couple tricky parts in the game but for the most part you're just playing it like you're watching a movie. Which is to say it's a lot of fun. That was close! And it has the cool Terminator music, and many of the bad guys are Terminators. And there's some other ones in there, like the spider droids and Terminator motorcycle things that look like GoBots. This game isn't terribly difficult, so if you're looking for a nice, fun science fiction ride, Terminator Salvation is the game for you. I can't shoot those spider droid things without feeling bad because they remind me of Tachikomas from Ghost in the Shell, or Fuchikomas depending on which translation you read or watch. They don't mean you any harm, well in this game they kind of do. You gotta shoot them in the back. I like the, uh, the effect that this game really requires you to aim to shoot things, especially those things that are flying all over the air and yeah, they're zipping all around you like fireflies. Bringing them down with shotguns is terrific. We should talk about that later. Right now, though, we gotta hustle. And by fireflies, I mean mutated Mothra-like. Angry, belligerent fireflies. This is on PS3, 360, PC, and iPod. We're watching the 360 version, and for fans of achievement points, this should be your favorite game ever because you can get 1,000 achievement points in just a few hours just by winning the game on hard. Good shooting, guys! Here come more of them. Do something! Get up ahead of us and clear a Not a bad game. I preferred Wanted Weapons of Fate and highly recommend that title for fans of this style. I'm surprised that there's just not more to do with the game, especially after you beat it. This is not the best 
Terminator game out there. That honor goes to the Terminator 2 pinball machine, without a doubt. Barnes, go around behind them. We gotta flank these things, people. Man, I always hate a That's one of the greatest pinball games ever. They should re-release that on PlayStation 3 or 360 or something, or include it in Zen Pinball or one of those games. Hold up. It's a cool franchise. The first Terminator is one of my favorite films and, in my opinion, one of the greatest films ever made. I mean, you got Bill Paxton playing a street punk. How can you go wrong? I don't see any guards or sentries, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. This game is good fun. It pays homage to the style of the original James Cameron film with some of the uniforms and vehicles and accessories. And uh, I dig it. I think they could have put more in it, but that being said, it's still a fun game. 